Now, let us answer some questions on the basis of our understanding of the poem. Question 1 is, the rain calls itself the dotted silver threads as the shimmering drops fall one after the other, it ties heaven and earth, it dots the earth with shimmering water, it decorates the face. See, I am dotted silver thread. That means when the raindrops are falling one after the other, it seems as if they have made a thread. So the answer would be the shimmering drops fall one after the other. That means option one is correct. Question two is, B part is, the tone and mood of the rain in the poem reflects its love for the earth, desire to take revenge, merriment as it destroys, desire to look beautiful. In the poem, from beginning to the end, the rain has discussed the various parts of the earth. Sometimes it talks about the heaven, sometimes it talks about the flowers, sometimes the trees and sometimes the human beings also. So that means it is in love for the, in, it is in love with the earth. So the option would be love for the earth one. Next question is, why is the rain divine? Now let us understand the meaning of the word divine. Divine refers to the godly or heavenly. The rain is termed as divine because we believe that every phenomena, anything that occurs on the earth, there is God behind every phenomena. So here when the trees are feeling happy, when the flowers are rejoicing, when the fields and valleys are looking beautiful, that means there is some kind of a uh, heavenly body. So here God is there behind every phenomena. So we can say that now it is the rain who is playing the role of the God in making them happy. So we can say that rain is divine. Moving on to the next question. In this universe, rain performs many functions. What are those? The various functions are rain quenches the thirst of the fields. Yes, quenches means to satisfied to satiate. So the rain is satisfying the thirst of the fields. It fills fields and valleys with a new life. Of course, the life on in the fields and the valleys are reviving on arrival of the rain. It produces sweet music as it beats against windows and the leaves of the trees. Of course, when the rain falls, the environment, the weather becomes awesome. It is very pleasant. So it's creating a kind of music and beauty in the environment. It fills every heart with joy. Every one of us feel happy when rain falls. Moving on to the next question. When I cry, the hills laugh. When I humble myself, the flowers rejoice. When I bow, all things are related. Cry, humble and bow indicate different intensity with which the rain falls. Explain the three. Yes, these are the intensities. Cry refers to the heavy rainfall. Humble refers to the soft and gentle rainfall and bow refers to the sprinkling of the rainfall. So he's saying that when it falls heavily on the hills, then hills are rejoicing. When it is falling smoothly and gently, then they are feeling happy again. And when they are sprinkling, then everything on the earth is again happy, mirthful and they are enjoying each and every seconds of the rainfall. Next question is, how do you think the rain quenches the thirst of the fields and cure clouds ailment? See, as we have already discussed that rain is passing the love letters of the cloud and the fields. At one time, the field is thirsty. It needs water. And in the same time, the cloud is brimming with water. It needs to get rid of the excess water. So it is the rain who is helping in getting rid of the water of the cloud and in satiating the thirst of the fields. Next question is, think about million little ways in which the rain embraces the trees. Mention a few of them. Each one of us know that rain embraces the trees because when the rain falls on the vegetation, when rain falls on trees, they look very beautiful. Not only this, when the water reaches in the deeper roots of the trees, it helps, it provides its nourishment. So it helps in its proper growth. And there are many indirect ways also. For example, the lakes and drains, they also carry rainwater. They trees, the plants and trees ultimately at the end. Next question is, 
all can hear but only the sensitive can understand. What does the poet want to convey? It means that when rain falls on the household, on the windows of each household, we all know that there is rain but very few, very emotional, very reactive person can feel the sound, can feel the music of the rain. And here in this poem, the poet has referred some phrases, the sigh of the sea, the laughter of the field, the tears from heaven. These are the phrases which are used by poet to describe the beauty, to describe the emotions he has attached to that of the arrival of the rain. Next question is, Notice the imagery built around sigh of sea, laughter of the field, tears of heaven. Explain the three expressions in context of rain. When it says sigh of the sea, sigh means deep breath. So it refers to the beginning of the life of the rain. That is from the depth of the sea. Laughter of the field. That means that now the rain is the reason for field to enjoy because it is providing the nourishment to the fields only. Tears of the heaven. Now it refers to the goats. It means that when rain is falling, they are not only the tears, but they represent the sadness of the goats which are there in the sky, in the heaven. Next question is, how would you express rain as an agent of floods, a source of water for dams? An agent of floods. When rain falls heavily, then the sea level raises. And ultimately, the places, the houses which are below the sea level, they get submerged. And that, that moment, it is an agent of flood. Source of water for dams. Dams are constructed for generation of electricity. So, in order to construct the dam, what we do is, we collect the rainwater. And then, this rainwater is used for the dams to produce electricity. Next question is, I am like earthly life. What does the poet call, why does the poet call rain as earthly life? Here the rain is being compared with that of the earth, with that of the life on the earth. Why? Because the life on the earth on one side and the life of the rain on other side is not perennial. It is going to end. It is not going to continue forever. So we can say that the life of the rain and that of the human life is brief. Next question is, explain the ending of the song. In the end, the poet has used the words like sigh of the sea, the laughter of the colorful fields and the tears of the sky. It is now signing of the letter with love. It not only offers the love, but it is also giving the reference of the birth of the rain, the happiness of the field which occurs due to the rain and the tears of the sky that means the rain is a result of the tears of the god sitting in the heaven i hope this question is clear